Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome again. Welcome again. If you're new, hi. I'm glad you stopped by here. Maybe we're gonna have a long lasting relationship. Who knows? Yes. <laughs> Today, I have this look for you guys with my knob is still up there. Yes, I feel I'm like well sported with my little knob. <laughs> so don't judge me if 80% of my videos has this knob top of my head. This is my sports center. <laughs> As I told you, we're having this look. I guess I kind of achieved the look. We're kind of twin, right? Yes. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It wasn't my intent, but when you guys get this palette, the purpley lemon tree vibe is there. Those are the colors, guys. Let me give you a close up, guys. So. Stay back and buckle up. We're gonna have fun with this colorful, nice look. And I'm gonna give you the swatches in the end. If you haven't get your hands on these colors, yeah, let's having fun. Today we're doing a little bit nice coverage. I'm feeling I'm gonna give you guys some summer night out look. So we're gonna be a little bit glow up. Yes. At first I'm gonna use my clinic moisturizer. Even though during the summertime I tend to get oily, I still want to give myself a nice coat of hydration. As my primer, I'm going to be using Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It helps to grip your foundation, guys, since its name is Grip. Since it's tacky, as you see, our foundation is going to be stick on the face. For foundation, I'm gonna be using my NARS Natural Reading Longwear Foundation. I have the colors Valencia and Stromboli. Stromboli is one shade is lighter than my color, and Valencia is. I bought this for my summer color, but I haven't got my summer color, so it's been laying on my drawer. Mixing them, so it's gonna it's gonna see the day of light. And then I'm gonna be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow in shade Peach Fizz. I just wanna add some to get glowy. That's why I didn't use my glowy base. I'm gonna give it a nice mix. This foundation is lightweight but full of coverage. Which I need, as you see guys, I have some blemishes, I need to hide. And this guy wants the pop. Dragging the color. Okay, for now, I am fine. Let me open this fan because I'm sweaty hell, yeah. Okay, it's better. For now, I'm pausing the face as always i even out my face now i'm gonna start my eyes for eye today i'm gonna be using huda beauty mercury retrograde this is the palette guys i don't know if my light is washing out the colors if i tilt you can't see the true colors better before putting the eyeshadow first let me prep my eyelid i'm gonna be using pillow louise eye base as always even though it creased i don't know i just bought it guys and i need to use it I don't know guys, I always feel when I take this mirror up, I feel somebody keeps saying, why are you not cleaning your mirror? <laughs> why? I'm lazy. And now, I guess I'm gonna be starting with this color. Then I'm gonna be taking this color. I'm gonna be taking my first color Utopia again and blend the edge. And I'm putting the color a little bit front part. And now I'm gonna be taking this nice color, it's the ultraviolet. First, let me apply with the brush. Huh. 
It comes with a sparkle here. Okay, I'm not mad about it. It's not like foily eyeshadow, but when I apply if the sparkle is coming, it's like kind of topper. I take on my finger and I'm gonna see. Okay, with finger application, you definitely get the color and the more payoff. But I still like how like the sparse sparkle came to my brush. I am liking it. And next of this color, I really wanna use this shade. This is the Mercury. This is the same kind of shade with this purple when I use my hands. Let's see. The more payoff coming with the brush, just the sparse sparkles coming. So I'm applying this color to other part. And then I'm taking these two shades and marry them in the middle. They are really nice color, but I guess I need to deepen up to the other part. I'm going to be taking this color. It's the dark purple. And drag it through the middle. I'm taking more denser brush, taking the same color. And give it a nice blend. I'm taking Karma with the same blending brush and I'm gonna apply it to the front part to deepen up the front part a little bit more because I feel this Utopia looks really light so I need something to support my other part I guess I'm gonna be adding this color on somewhere maybe here to deepen up the inner part a little bit more. Okay guys, now I'm gonna be doing my under eyes. I'm gonna put my concealer. For concealer, I'm gonna be using CoverGirl True Blend in shade Sand Bay. At some point, I need to do my eyebrow. <laughs> I know it doesn't look good. To give a little bit brightness on the inner part, I'm gonna be using Born This Way Concealer just on the very inner part. I'm gonna set my under eye really quick. I'm gonna be using Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in butter before make sure there is no crease on your under eye. Okay, for my under eye, I'm gonna use, let's see, what am I going to use? This dark purple, applying it the other part and to connect to the edge. I want the shade a little bit less pigmented through the inner part. I'm somehow mimicking top lip and I'm taking this purple, this color, which is our front shimmer color, and it is where I put the top part. So okay, I'm gonna use my hand to get in there. And next to it, I'm gonna be applying the another shimmer color. Those shimmers are better with the finger so inner part i really want to just drag this purple color so i'm just gonna apply this color with the brush so we get less payoff with some sparkle okay that's good let me give you a close up guys so we have this so far i always start okay let's do some fresh light eyes summer date night, summer night eyes, but it <laughs> always added up. I'm like putting too much color. <laughs> For now, I feel it's time. It's finally time to do my eyebrow because as always, they need some love. Eyebrows are 
done with the lashes on yes i went ahead and put my favorite style lashes by the way while i'm putting the lashes i realized i didn't have fallout that much almost none just i have a little bit tiny bit fallout that's all for my blush let's use this one but first let me bronze my face for my bronzer i'm gonna be using Too face chocolate soleil this one this is the one so i'm gonna give myself a nice bronze i am mostly concentrate upper part of my cheek i don't want to place my bronzer here since i already have chubby cheek i don't want to emphasize that more i want like my face a little bit lifted so it's gonna give us the illusion of the lift We have connection here between my eyeshadows and the contour. Then I'm gonna be using my Patricia blush. This is the shade So LA. First, I'm taking the outer side, and then I'm gonna be taking my sponge to get the cream part. For my highlighter, I'm gonna be using my Jaclyn Hill Deflate Highlighter Palette. Those are the shades and I feel it's perfect for my look. I'm gonna be taking Glow Up. Maybe I'll mix this too, we'll see. voila we're done for my lip i'm gonna settle down first i'm gonna take revlon color stay in chocolate i need to warm up a little bit otherwise it's not easy to use and then i'm gonna be taking my dose of color in shade supernatural Yes, guys, this is the completed look. I don't know if you know my description of the makeup, like summery date nights or outside night outside going outside <laughs> makeup look, but we ended up having this look. So I hope you liked the video, guys, and enjoyed the look. Or if you guys gonna create the look, take me from the Instagram, my Instagram info down below don't forget to check it out let me give you the swatches first i'm gonna go through the first round and then second and the third those are the first round we have six shades Okay guys, those are the second round. Okay guys, those are the swatches. I hope it's helpful for you guys to see the true colors. For palettes, I can say I like the color. They blend well. I didn't get any pitchiness or fallout. For the shimmer colors, you, you're gonna get more payoff at the foil looking if you use your finger. Maybe you might get more payoff with the wet brush, but I didn't use. When you guys use dry brush, you're gonna get like the sparse, nice, less intense pop of shimmer. I'll see myself to use it as a popper of the exact shade of color. So either way, I love i love you see guys and that's all today guys i hope you enjoyed your video and if you haven't already i really appreciate your thumbs up and hit my subscription button and don't forget to hit this notification bell so we're gonna reunite here on my future videos that's all i'll see you next time guys bye